everyone and welcome to this video. I know my hair is like a mess, but I kind of like it. So today I'm going to create this makeup look with uh, this palette. And I know I finally bought this. I know I talked about this for months and months. And I actually said that I really want to buy it, but I never did. And I don't know why, because it's a favorite palette of many people. In one of my giveaways, I had a question that you, I wanted you guys to answer and it was, what's your favorite eyeshadow palette? And many people, many people said it was this one. So I had to buy it, I had to buy it and I, I had to try it myself. I've been using it for over almost two weeks now, every day since I got it. And I've been playing with it. I've been uh, creating many makeup looks. And I have to say that I really kind of like this palette. I think it's a beautiful palette. I understand what people love it. And I do like to use this kind of brush uh, for my makeup looks. Now, I haven't used it today, but I like this palette. I think it's beautiful. I like the colors. I like the shades. It's very powdery. I lose uh, pigment when I tap my brush in this uh, palette, but I do like it i don't mind that and i am um, going to create this makeup look so i'm not going to swatch it because you've seen a lot of videos with swatches of this palette if you're interested let me know down below but i think i don't have to because this palette has been out for uh, is it two years now i think it's two years almost two years and it's very popular so i had to have it too in my collection if you want to see how I created this look, please keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. So let's start. I already primed my eyes and I did set it with a little bit with the powder. So let's go in this palette and create a makeup look. to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So I'm back. Let's go back to this palette. Take some shade under the lower lash line. I'm going to take this brush from the BH Cosmetics number 8 and go into 
uh, this shade here. So guys, this is the final look. I really like how this turned out. Now, I'm very impressed with uh, this palette and I know I'm very late <laughs> with this palette, but I always wanted to buy this, but I don't really know why I never bought it, but I'm very glad that I did because it's a very nice palette. Is it the best palette ever? I don't know. I I did play with it for oh, uh, almost two weeks now and I think it's a nice palette. I like it and I understand why it's popular. I can say I understand why everybody loves it. I love the packaging. I love how smooth and nice it is, how soft it is. I like the brush. I know many people don't like this brush that it comes with this palette, but I actually like these brushes and I do use them. So I'm impressed. These are very powdery. I mean, I just had my brush very soft and I got a lot of pigment and there is a lot of fallout from this palette. And I know many had the, the subculture was very powdery and it was, it was like a disaster for many people. Unfortunately, I don't have that palette, but this is very powdery. I mean, it's very soft pressed and I kind of like this palette. I, I don't mind that there is a lot of fallout. There is not, not a lot of fallout when I blend the shades, so they're very easy to blend. I like it. I understand why it's very popular. I'm kind of curious to see subculture. I really, really want that palette too. I like it as much as I like the Prism palette. I love that too. Very glad that I have this shade, this palette, and I've been using it a lot, and I think I'm going to continue using it. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in my next one. Bye!